Welcome to NetSuite Quick Tips from RSM. Today, we're going to look at setting up bin management in NetSuite and understand the differences between bin management and advanced bin numbered inventory management. Let us first identify the use of bin management in NetSuite. Bin management feature is used to identify places in your warehouse where you store inventory items. It will give you more granularity to track on-hand quantities within a warehouse. It helps in better warehouse management that eventually can result to increase efficiency. Whether advanced bin management is required is mainly dependent on whether the company uses serial lot tracking. For non-serial lot tracked inventory item, standard bin management will suffice. But for companies where lot numbered items or serialized inventory items are used, Advanced bin numbered inventory management is to be enabled as lot and serial numbers linked to bins. Please note that you will need to enable the regular bin management before you can enable the advanced bin numbered inventory management feature. To use the different bin management features in NetSuite, let us do the following steps. First, we enable the feature by going to Setup. Company, in the Setup Tasks, click Enable Features. In the Items and Inventory tab, Inventory section, make sure you have Bin Management turned on and Advanced Bin Management Inventory turned on as well. And then click Save. Next, let us create bins by going to Lists, Supply Chain, Bins, New. Enter the bin number and the location and then hit save. You have now created a bin. Let us now do the item setup. Open an item and edit the item record. Click the box next to use bins and click save. Both the creation of bins in the previous step and enabling the use bin in the item record are needed for both bin management and advanced bin numbered inventory management. For bin management, you will also need to associate a bin number in the bin numbers tab in the item record. In this item record, scroll further down in the inventory tab and the inventory in the bins number subtab and choose a location and choose your bin. Click Add and hit Save. For advanced bin management, this is not a necessary step. If an existing item with inventory is converted to use bins, by enabling the feature at item level, it is required to perform a bin put away. This can be done by going to Transactions, Inventory, and click Bin Put Away Worksheet. Choose a location, and here you can now associate or enter the quantity on hand in the location to a specific bin. Choose the bin and enter the quantity. Click OK and hit Save. This step is not needed for new items that were created with used bins already turned on. Note that for all transactions that decrease inventory with used bins turned on in the item, a bin is necessary to be entered. This is the same with Advanced Bin Numbered Inventory Management. Items without the used bins enabled will not require bins. Let us now go to the different transactions in NetSuite and see how bins work on this. From a purchase order, let's create an item receipt. Click Receive button. In the item where we have used bins enabled, you will now see the inventory detail 
And when you click it, you can now associate a bin to the item receipt. Click OK and hit Save. Let us now create an item fulfillment. In a sales order, click the Fulfill button. In the Item Fulfillment page, you will have the inventory detail. Click on the box and enter the bin number. Click OK and hit Save. Notice how bins become necessary for these transactions. That concludes this video on bin management feature in NetSuite. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something useful. Look out for more videos in our website. Thank you.